when it comes to 3D printing, fire is a very real concern. Biff, pow, zap, clunk, clunk, ouchie. Hey guys, we've all heard stories of FDM printers overheating and causing house fires, but don't forget there's similar danger with resin printers too. Thanks to uniformation and biopoly, we're finally seeing heating being incorporated into resin printer design, and people like me have encouraged the use of homemade enclosure heaters. And I'd be lying if I told you that I hadn't worried about associated dangers. The truth of the matter is, FDM printers regularly melt filaments at temperatures over twice the boiling point of water. And if we want better resin prints in cooler climates, the resin has to be warmed. This means that the danger isn't going away anytime soon. But we can do something to massively alleviate this risk. And this innocuous looking thing is the answer. It's manufactured by our buddies at Wambam Systems, and ironically, it's an explosive device. Rather than waffle on about it, let's look at a demonstration conducted by Wambam themselves. Here, they're simulating a fire that could be caused through overheating. The cloud, as it's called, and you'll see why that is in a moment, is easily attached with a provided Velcro-like material. The fire is lit and, don't blink, there, it's extinguished. And now you know why it's called the cloud. You never want to throw water on an electrical fire, and Wambam have correctly used a non-toxic powder to do the job. Beyond a doubt, this device is best used in an enclosed space, but here Wambam demonstrate its effectiveness without an enclosure. Okay, it works, that's for sure but I don't think I'd fancy cleaning up all that mess. I personally will stick with an enclosure. When my wife first saw this video, she said, won't the powder ruin the printer? And I said to her, if it's on fire, then it's already ruined and better a small mess than a burnt down home. But apparently the powder itself won't cause any actual damage. It just needs cleaning up. Now, an important point here, guys, is that the cloud will only activate if it comes into contact with flame. Heat and smoke won't do the job. This means that the cloud must be placed in close proximity with your printer, such as on an adjacent wall, on the printer itself, or at the top of the enclosure. Wambam have already begun including this Velcro-like stuff on the inner top panel of their hotboxes making fitting a breeze. Now you're probably thinking right now, safety gear, it's going to cost a fortune, right? Well, that's the part that really surprised me most. At just $29 on the official store, it's cheaper than most of the resins and filaments that I've used. And don't forget, if you buy from the official store, you can use the code VOG2022 and get 10% off until mid-2023. Yes, that code should have expired back in January, but when Wham Bam told me about this product, I begged them to reinstate it so you guys could take advantage. Safety first and all that. Genuinely, at this price, it's a must-have item, especially if, like me, you regularly leave your printer running alone for hours on end. Right now, I believe this product is only available in the US through the official store, but even as I speak, it's been shipped out across the world. So look out for the official Wham Bam resellers to pick up this fantastic safety product. So well done, Wham Bam. It's great to see a quality safety item delivered at a reasonable price. So there you go, guys. Please take safety seriously. And that's it guys, nice, short and sweet. Thanks for watching.